States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one my nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Hey. Everybody knows there's a camera in the room. I'll let you all know that. No. Yeah, I wouldn't lie to you. Okay. All right, we're going to do the fire department's budget. Peter, you get a budget? This is one that you presented to us yeah. earlier. You had, some, you had some items up earlier on your agenda to do those first, Joel. No, we're going to do this one all set. If you have any, is there any changes or this is the, this is the one you gave me, I don't know, a month ago? Yes, the one that we submitted. One that we okay, that's what we're going with. Yes. Yeah, I thought it was hers. Oh. Not, it showed it to me. No, it's just there was just some things I can't remember. I thought it might be helpful. Oh, I know. Let's, let's start with my 880 here. <laughs> Say it again, please. Yeah. T E L L. Two L's. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. All right, Chief, you got the same amount of firefighters? Uh, you got the same amount of money as last year, so it's the same amount? For line 880. We are told the local fund. Okay. Until further notice. Okay. Is that sufficient? No. We're, okay. Talk to us. What do you need? Were you short? No, I'm not short. The, the guys aren't even making minimum wage and 12 bucks an hour is a disgrace. Is it 11 or 12? What minimum mean? wage is 11. 11. Yeah. Would we bump you up to last year? $12 an hour. Was it 12? Yes. Okay. All right. And that's for half of their job. That's for what? Half their job. What does that mean? What's that? It means they don't get paid to go to fires. They don't get paid to go to accidents. They don't get paid to get up in the middle of the night. They get paid to train. And that's it. And that's okay. that's ridiculous. Okay, so what do you what do you propose? I propose um, based on a couple of meetings ago, seventeen dollars an hour for training and incidents. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, that's not up to me anyway. I don't think that, I don't think so. You want you want a call fire department now, right? Not a volunteer, right? Yes, call. Okay. We've been called for years. I don't care. I remember. I can't remember a time when we were volunteer. Right, but we had that discussion last year. If you remember. Yeah, having that discussion for a while. That's why I'm asking. Uh, try to get everybody to understand the difference between call. And yeah. Volunteer. Okay. I'd like. To, okay. Yeah. Did I explain that to oh, Steve? Please, call. please. Okay. Volunteer yeah. department gets no reimbursement, no wages, no salaries at all. The call department gets paid for something, and in this case, they get paid for training. They don't get paid to go to fires. They don't accidents, hazardous material, anything. Okay. So, is that customary? No, not in the least. Every department around here pays for all aspects of the job. And there's not another department or agency in this town that only pays their people for half their jobs. Last, you know, the last meeting I watched was told that you know. Thirteen, fourteen dollars an hour to hire somebody to mow lawn is acceptable, but we're still paying firefighters twelve for half their job. And I brought this up for many years, and it m makes it absolutely nowhere. So. Okay. Well, if I remember correctly, last year mm -hmm. we discussed all this because you came to us with us with a proposal, and I don't have it in front of me, but I don't think it was seventeen dollars an hour for one thing. But, but also the reason that um, we didn't end up supporting that was because we felt there was a lack of controls for how many people were going to show up 
per event. That there was no, you could not give us a concrete method of controlling how many people would show up for what kind of event. So that would leave costs. Um, I don't think you could give a proper eva um, estimation of what your expenses would actually be. Naturally, nobody can predict when there's going to be car accidents or when there's going to be fires and that sort of thing. But on, on top of that, not having a, uh, any kind of proposal about how many people are going to show up when, that just is like give, writing a blank check. And as much as um, I hear what you're saying about hours um, and you're relating it to mowing lawns, mm -hmm. um, we were, we're relating it to training, which is in-house. Some of it. Yeah, okay, so um, you, could, you could use that analogy for a lot of other things too. So I'm afraid, for me, I can't fall into that um, argument because it could just be spread around too many other ways and we have to go by, I think, we were going by what we thought was fair. Um, and that was that, that, that was our, you well, know, read, that was our reason. Yeah, so. I wasn't part of that discussion, so I can't really comment. But. Uh, I, I believe you were present for it. You, you I was present when I presented my budget. Mm -hmm. When the final decision was made, it was a joint meeting between this group and the Board of Selectmen, and I wasn't there to find out what the final budget for my department was going to be. Maybe, maybe not <coughs> the final budget, but I thought you were present for the discussion <coughs> where we would have explained to you, I think, what I'm not 100% sure. I don't believe so. Um, but it may, and if it was a joint meeting with the Board of Selectmen, that may also be um, on record in the form of, you know, video, so. Um, so. A lot of times those things are recorded. Hmm. If you, I remember the discussion was, if you have a car accident, we, we asked the question, if 10 guys show up, mm -hmm. what was the, how is that gonna, how is that gonna pan out? How are they gonna get paid? Like, you only need one guy or two guys at a car accident, you got 10 guys showing up, they're all gonna get paid? Yes. Yeah. That's the way every other call fire department in Massachusetts works. So 10 guys show up, they're gonna get paid no matter what. How, what are they gonna get paid? Half hour, hour, three hours? How's that gonna work? I think the thing in the town bylaw is a minimum, hourly minimum anyway. I was looking at a two hour minimum. Is that in, I don't know if that's in the bylaws right now. Okay. Is it in there? I never I believe so, but. On, on the what, what chapter, what right. section? I think it's under the personnel bylaw, but I'd have to double check that. There's a lot of things in the bylaws, but. Okay, so let me get this straight. So you want you want you want your guys to get 17 an hour for training, mm -hmm. and then and then how much per hour when they want to? 17 dollars, one set rate, which still isn't equitable because you've got people anywhere from one year experience to 30 years experience, right. and we're lumping them all together. As for the argument, 10 people do a car accident. Um, right now we roll eight people to a car accident is not unreasonable. And if that's all we take to the scene, having two people standing by here at the station, in case we need more help or in case there's another call. What do eight people do with the car accident? Depends on what needs to be done. They redirect traffic, they dis disconnect battery cables, they extricate patients, they load patients on the backboards, they assist the ambulance crew, they cut trees to get people out of cars, they operate hydraulic rescue tools, they remove windshields, they remove roofs. Mm -hmm. no. I, I agree with some of that. But as far as the traffic detail, that's up to the police and the state police. Yeah, if they're there. Yeah. If, you have one person, if we have one police officer on duty and he's busy, then we do our traffic to protect ourselves. Sometimes that's as simple as parking a truck across the road. Sometimes that means actually directing traffic. But we need to do what needs to be done. And again, yes, the police department does do it when they're, when possible, but depending on time of day, if there's one officer in the Brookfield Cruiser and he's tied up on something else, then he's not available for him. Well, that's why we have mutual aid with the other towns. Okay. I, I'd like to take a step back, okay? We're talking about line 880 fire wages, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. That's where we're at. Yes. How many people are there, please? This would apply to 22 of the 20, staff of 24. Okay, 22, 22, 22 firefighters. Firefighters, no. 
Okay. Um, you have two more, you're saying? The hourly wage wouldn't apply to the, uh, the chief of the assistant. Okay. There you get stipends. Line 885 is the stipend? But that's the stipend for the fire chief. Got it. Um, <clears throat> if I were to divide 21.5 by 22, that's like $1,000 each. I'm rounding down, <laughs> mind you. Yeah. Um, I'm rounding up, actually. How um, many people show up for training on an average? They don't all show up. Not all, but... What do you get, like a 12, the core group that show up? 10 to 12 is a good reasonable number. Yeah, that's an expected number. Join my 77. Okay. That's with 22. Right. They all take, the, I mean, it's that core group now. How about the other group? They periodically come in and get trained to They show up when they can, depending on right. what schedule. And then someone else might not show up that night. Mm -hmm. And you say they're getting paid 11 bucks an hour? 12 dollars. 12 dollars an hour. Okay. Okay. That's 81 hours of training. <coughs> I'm just... Mm -hmm. Correct? I mean... Uh, so I, I'm not going to challenge your math. I mean, okay. okay. Yeah, well, yeah, we did that last year, Steve. You should, trust a couple. <laughs> yeah, a few Mondays they don't come in, so... Okay, so... Not a big deal. Has there any, been any thought as to a rate for training versus a rate for a run? No. I'm not saying it's not an option, I'm just saying it's never come up before. Um, do you have any supporting documentation from other towns about what their scale is? I wish all you could be a firefighter for one year and just see what goes on and stuff, and you probably wouldn't like doing it, and you'd probably disappear. Uh, let's see, last year? If I wanted to do it, I would be doing it, so it's not something that I would, I choose to do. It's a choice that a person makes. If I was younger, Herb, and you put me, let me come on, I'd come on for you. Um, this is last year from East Brookfield. Last I'm a year. hell of a worker. Um, the last year, the fire chief in East Brookfield made $13,000. The assistant chief made $4,100. Um, captains made $1,200 a year, plus their hourly rate. Lieutenants made $600 a year, plus their hourly rate. And everybody in the department made $17 an hour, one hour minimum. Can you uh, and that can was you here. copies of that, please? Mm -hmm. Of course. That and one again, town, that, what town is that? That's East Brookfield. East. Okay, what other towns do you have? Oh, uh, that's all I've got. Okay, because that's just one town. There are a lot of towns down here, so. Yeah, I was just going to say that, yeah. I mean, I would definitely have to be gone to them. Thank you. You bring up a point. Has any uh, uh, paperwork been given to personnel for... Uh, yes. Person Step and grade or anything else like that? Person on the board has our job descriptions. They've right. been working on those. I don't think they've assigned them a step and grade. Because that would be the final step before adopting it in yeah. the personal yeah. bylaw. Yeah. Yeah. So this is East Brookfield and there are there is a chief, there is a one chief, one assistant chief, two, 
two captains, two lieutenants. Anything else? Do you have any of the, Do we have any of this? We have one Ca chief, one assistant chief, one captain, two lieutenants. Okay. And what's the population of East Brookfield? 1,200. East Brookfield has a population of 1,200 people? No. Well, that can't be right. Not 1,000. They got more than 1,000 people. Yeah, that's what 1,200 is. Oh, okay. I don't expect that from you. All right. 1,200 people. I have no idea. Look at them, but. Well, is it, it 1200 or are you not sure? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, you just gave 1200. I, 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 just, I was okay. pretty sure it was 1200. Oh, I was told okay. it wasn't 1200, but nobody seems to know what it is, so it could very That's well be. That's why we ask. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 1200, 20, 20 miles of rope hit or 40 miles of rope? Yeah, we get 40, right? Yeah. 40 yeah. plus. Well, I'm going by population, I'm not going by miles yeah. of road. Mm -hmm. Because that's what they're serving <clears throat> is a number of people. Well, and, and plus, you know, the traffic on the highway and whatever. So when we share Route 9. So. I just consulted uh, omniscience here and uh, said 2,100 people, 22, in 2010. That's a good, okay. 2,200 people in 2010. What so. we got, 32? 32, 30, 30, 30. 30, 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay. I'm here in 3,500 all the time. Yeah, that's right. Do you, right here, so, of this, um, you know, like, how many firefighters do they have been? Maybe you don't know that. I don't know. Okay. Um, so, you, we've been running, we're, we're like, our captains and our lieutenants here in this salary, in this wage they're line. They're in the top line, the, the eight, wage line. line. Yep. And they're at 12 bucks an hour. Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Got it. So they're pretty much doing a civic duty to the town as well. I mean, they're volunteering their time as well, and they're getting a little bit of money. I mean that's that's all a volunteer used to be called. Now it's a call and you get you get something. Yeah, which is which is good. Right, and the, and the jobs since since that was a thing, the job has changed dramatically in the last fifty years, in the last thirty years. Oh yeah, everything's changed absolutely. Yeah. Yes, not just the fire. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> okay. I think the hard part, at least for me. <clears throat> Is, is just trying to balance the altruistic part of it. And just because the people are quote unquote volunteering or on call, that doesn't mean we have a right to take advantage of them. I mean, time, you know, you get paid for your skill level. Mm -hmm. And I know what you guys are going through a lot more environmental stuff, mm -hmm. uh, a lot more hazardous material you gotta work with just because the way the cars are constructed, the smoke and melting and all this other stuff, Hybrids. which puts their which puts their health at risk and stuff like that. So I think you have to be compensated for it. The only other thing I'm I, I'm I'm worrying about is pretty much like Maria's, that it's 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 somewhat too open ended, you know. Now admittedly on, on one run you might have ten people show up. Mm -hmm. You really don't need 10 people, but they're there anyway. So now the question comes up, is there any way to put some control, some controls on it, uh, like uh, that may be a, a hybrid of they get paid so much for training and they have another rate for being on call, and then you also, instead of maybe uh, a minimum of two hours, maybe now it might be one hour. I don't know. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just throwing this out to put some parameters around it because it gets to be really a blank check. I mean, theoretically, you could have the whole damn department show up for a fender bender. For, for a fender bender. Yeah. And, and, and then ethically and morally, you have to pay everybody. Uh, you know, and on the other hand, you might have another thing which is a really serious, not, not that any of them are not serious, but more or more involved. And, and you really, and not everybody can show up because of either prior commitments and all this other stuff. And you're begging for people to show up and you're putting a call out there. Yeah, but then uh, we have mutual aid. Well, I know, okay, fine, all right. Just, you know, okay, right, just from right. that end of you're things. Right. Okay, right. fine, okay, that's yeah. good too. So, so I, I'm, you I'm not- hold your breath for five you know, or six yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, well, hopefully you can, yeah. uh, under certain circumstances. Yeah. 
So I don't, I, I, I don't know how you reconcile all, all that stuff, to be honest with you. But I, I, I just find it hard to just say that, well, I don't know who's going to show up and, and whoever does will pay him. You know, I mean, I don't know if it's the same thing like Herb might have to do. If he has a snowstorm, he, I'm putting words in your mouth, That's I realize that, well. you know, where you, you're going to call in certain people depending upon the severity of the storm and you have some control of who you're calling up. The whole bloody highway department doesn't show up for just a one inch versus a five inch snowfall. I mean, you know, I, it's just, Actually, that, that's I what know, I, that's, I don't know that that's true or not. I don't Actually. know, but I'm just <laughs> saying it just from a management point so, of view, what? it's kind of open ended, you know, that's, that's what, all. What's not true? How many people show up? How many people call show up? I, I, it's you know. a small department, yeah. so I can't imagine that, that they wouldn't all be called in. That's what I'm saying. That's what not all called in. That's what I'm that's saying. What saying. That's what I'm saying is yeah. that you have con Candace, some control, right. not to not to put one department against another yeah. department, but one we have a control that you have two people show up for now, and I if it's really bad, worse than I thought it was, then I'm going to call some more people in. Versus the other option of saying, well, as a manager, I'm going to put the four bells go off, and who's ever in the neighborhood come on down. You know that to me is somewhat. Lucy goosey I mean, I might be using the wrong adjective, but that's that. You know, it's a little different because he, he knows there's going to be a snowstorm. He knows he's got to line up X number of guys to do X number of roads or whatever they I know. do. I know. But just like me, an accent's different. You just don't know. I don't. Right. I realize that. But that's your point. That the you fair made. parameter between the two departments is nobody has to show up. So, I think highway has to show up because they do. They're in. A, I nope. would think unless they. Highway Department does not have any contract. No. None whatsoever. So they can refuse to show up for a snowstorm? It's happening in other towns. Does well, it happen yeah. here? No, no, it's never happened. Let's, let's not go on it's, that. Let's not get, take, yeah. take the yeah. conversation. Yeah, down. yeah. I, so, th this okay. this seems really yeah, I don't want to go to that. Okay, no. I, I would like to ask Chief Martell a yeah. question. Okay. Um, so. And this is a management question. So, you have 22 firefighters. Um, every single one of them is on call right now at all times? Yes. Okay. Um, um, <clears throat> so there is, there is no order of, uh, or, or schedule that says, here's, here's five people who are on call for the next 24 hours if we have a fender bender, okay? Um, <clears throat> um, does that make sense to do that? On a department this size, I don't think it, no department this size does that. The only departments that Spencer or Lester do that, they assign groups of people to be on duty and that's only at night and weekends. During, Tom Spencer, for instance, has groups that are on duty on set times. But during the day, it's anybody they can get. Because everyone's employed doing yeah, something else. Yeah, you're correct. counting on people that can either leave their place of employment or work nights to show up during the day. And even in Spencer's case, that's and they get compensated for train or for calls. Even in Spencer's case, that's not a given mm -hmm. that anybody will show up. Okay. Um, and when you say for a fire department of this size, this is a small fire department. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> And um, is there a method of of um, instituting a a management system that says on evenings and weekends when more of your staff is available because they are not at work? Okay. Um, with all due respects to the people who work overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there not? Is there a sensibility in scheduling something out to 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 address um, the town's concerns about about um, having to spend additional money for for um, uh, uh, lesser incidents. I'm not quite sure what the Do right we, words are. We don't have any such system in place. I can yep. I can check with neighboring departments and that are organized similarly that do pay for responses and see what they do 
see if they have a system in place to try to limit responses to emergency calls. Yeah, okay. I'll reach out um, to them. And here's where I'm coming from. $11, you know, 12 bucks an hour. Yeah, you know, we're paying some guy to cut grass and doing that, okay? Yeah, it seems sensible that you should be paid more, mm -hmm. okay? And the idea that um, <clears throat> that you get paid for training and not for, for going to an actual event, um, um, I'm not sure if that makes sense to me or not. It's the first I've ever heard of it. Okay, um, but um, oh, okay. Um, here's a whole other question. Um, why do these guys do this? Because they want to. Because they want to, and somebody needs to. Okay. And in some cases, you know, the people. These are people that have investments in the town, they have families in the town. There's a couple of generations in some cases, and... They're dedicated to the town? Dedicated, yeah. altruistic, yeah. those types of qualities. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. great. So it's not the money factor, but it'd be nice if they got something. Yes. Yeah. And I understand that. So that's what the volunteer used to be. They got paid nothing, right? When they were way back in the old days. Oh yeah. You're, I'm you're, talking way back. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're back to well over 100, probably. No, not yep. that far back. I'm talking back in the 80s, 70s. Right, but they've been com they've been getting some type of payment. Well, probably about 100 years. Stipend. Oh, whatever it was, brush fires back then. We had the big. They had the strike back in the 30s because the firefighters were getting paid, and the town instituted a poll tax of two dollars a year, and the firefighters wanted their rate their pay to go up two dollars a year to cover the town's poll tax. And when the town refused to do it, the entire fire department walked out. But that was 1930. So. I see that. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, these 22 firefighters are, are are citizens of the town of Brookfield, correct? Uh, 20 of them are. Two of them okay. You don't have to be then a, a citizen. No. Okay. Very well. All right. So I guess we can take it under advisement. Maybe we should run this. We can get something, and then we go to the personnel board and. Take it from there. I don't, you know. I would. I'd personally like to get more data. Data. Um, and um, he did mention about checking with other towns to see how they might do scheduling. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be good to have. Yep. Scheduling and the data. I know during the day, it's you know, it could be sketchy when you get somebody or not get somebody. Mm -hmm. Because everybody, a lot of people work out of town. I mean, I know a lot, few of them could get in town, but they, you know, it's a big to do. Is that something you can do then? And then you, you find out about that oh, schedule. Yeah, you're you're, you're, you're willing to do that. Okay. Yeah. Great. That would be, <clears throat> I think, very helpful on our yeah. side of the world. Yeah. Could you okay. please check with some other towns about their rates as well? Sure. Yes. West, north. Yeah, North Brookfield, West Brookfield, like, like size Comparable towns. to Comparable. Comparable yeah, Any towns. of the Brookfields is pretty good. Any studies done by the International Association of Firefighters? Well, they don't want anything to do with us. <laughs> That's union. <they're laughs> union I'm not even worried about whether they're union or yeah. not. I just oh, know no. that associations no, do, is, yeah, do they, studies nationwide yeah, the about is, fire response time and, uh, by different oh. towns and stuff like that. They yeah. might have some... Oh, they may have some on... on um, yeah. Between them and the NFPA optimal right, thing, right. but the IAFF doesn't do a lot of studies yeah. on call departments. So I was going to say you'd have to submit the information too. I mean, or is there a system where where information about those kind of things goes into automatically into some database that they can keep track about that sort of thing? In terms of in terms of like response systems, yeah, and yeah. Stuff? yeah, not usually. Okay. Usually this time of year you'll get emails from the group of chiefs that looking for comp, uh, comparable things. Okay. Can I just say one thing real quick? City of Wisdom, when they roll to a car accident, they roll two pieces of equipment. That's eight guys total all the time. That's standard with them and it's standard with the town of Leicester now. They've changed their policies. So they roll an engine in the rescue, which is eight guys. So well, they send a fire truck out even if it's a medical thing too. City of Wisdom, yes City they do. That's what they do. That's four guys on the truck. Right, and I mean that's, that's their policy, but I wouldn't see that yet, us doing that. Uh, Brimfield Hall in Wales. 
send a fire truck with Every ambulance, Every ambulance call, Brimfit Fire, they all go to the yeah. calls. All, all three towns. All three towns. And, and all what, I'm, I don't, I'm not familiar, so what would the reason be for First that? First response <clears throat> to assist the ambulance crew. Or? Well, they got, in Worcester they have the guys in the fire trucks or, mm -hmm. or EMTs or paramedics. So sometimes the fire department gets there sooner than the ambulance. Yeah, I see. I mean, and that's the a, reason for right. it. If there's a drunk passed out, if there's a fire truck, yeah, a fire truck will show up. And then the police show up or vice versa. And then the ambulance, or they, you know, whatever comes first. So they got a lot of over coverage, but it's a city too. And there's a lot of, oh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot going on in Worcester. A lot going on in the cities. Okay. Um, uh, let's get down to line 885. So we're on line 880. We're gonna we're gonna get wait for your data, and then we're gonna uh, consult the personnel board. We're gonna find them. Yep. Everybody in agreement with that? Yep. Okay. All right, so your, your chief salary is the same as last year, Pete? Chief salary was submitted level funded per the directive that was issued two months ago. Okay. Um, the only difference was that fire 880 last year went up 20%. Uh, the chief salary went up 3%. Actually, the chief and the assistant chief salaries only went up 3% when everybody else went up 20. Right, because we're trying to jump up to the minimum wage. Right. There's a, there's a big factor in the dollars, dollars yeah. here, so that's why it seemed like it went up higher than it did. Right. The but, overall. So they, five, they and we gave them a, a jump they, in they the went up, They raise. did a twenty percent raise. Myself and the assistant chief got a three percent raise. Right. And that's based on that large figure. Plus they had a, we were trying to get them up to minimum wage. Right, that's for them. I don't know that's how right. the chief and I the assistant chief and I only got a three percent raise. But Well, it's the same with that's that one across the whole board with all the employees last year. Okay. Doesn't mean it's right, but well, we're trying. We were trying to catch up the fire. We're trying. We're trying to give the firefighters more money back right. last year. Oh yeah, because of the state mandated minimum wage raises that had nothing really to do. You know, we were just trying to have some form of equity based on what the state was doing. It I mean, wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't any other issue. I don't think that caused us to really. I don't even think that minimum town, wage. Town, town don't have to pay yeah, minimum wage. Right. Towns don't have to pay minimum wage, but we're trying to do. Towns don't have to pay minimum wage. That's what I've heard That's a few what times. I've been told. Yep. Towns don't have to pay minimum wage. Can I just switch around for a minute? Could you guys do some research on that and get back to us? Yeah, I will. Yeah, because that, that was. someone told me that last year. I'll tell you. I heard that. Oh, okay. I'll, no, I'll be happy to check that. Out. Okay. I think it's a really good thing to check. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I wouldn't. Re I wouldn't repeat it if. Yeah. So, so, I didn't hear it from a. But anyway, what we were trying to do last year was get them up a little bit. You know? Right. So, so fiscal year 17, 2017, that 21.5 is where that $12 per hour yes. wage came in, correct? Yes. Right. Okay, fine. We were trying to get them up. Yeah. You know, we just and didn't so they were all, all at once, you know. Got it. Beautiful. Okay. Anyone have any more questions? Anything you want to say, Pete, on 885? Oh, again, I mean, it's, it's barely equitable in a couple of pay periods. At least one of the two pay periods so far this fiscal year, there was at least one member of the department who made more in a pay period than the chief did. Because the hours, because he participated in more training, training. So one of the lieutenants made more than the chief did over a three-month period. And again, as you as you've gotten your handout last last year, the East Brookfield chief made thirteen thousand dollars. Is, is the chief, meaning you, not paid for training? No, I'm not. Do Just that stipend. Got it. Now, is your chief, uh, uh, what you're talking about, are they time or are they part time? No, he's part time. Call. To be, to keep the phrase. I mean, he has the same scenario you have with two worlds. The East Brookfield chief is actually remarkably similar to my role because the East Brookfield chief is a call chief that has a full-time support staff during the day. Now in, in East Brookfield, it's the two full-timers. In Brookfield, it's me. So I'm compensated through EMS day-to-day -to, -day to take care of all those roles that a, a full-time person in another department would do. Um, but the responsibility and all the off hours calls are reflected in that, in that line on 885. And again, also training, seminars, etc. cetera. 
All right, what do you get on uh, line 890, um, 890? What does that entail for the 33500 That's expensive. It's anything from... Can you give us a breakdown on what you're going to be using oh. this year? I could. We used to do a breakdown, but this was the only form we were given. So, um, light maintenance, building maintenance, light equipment, and not light as in lighting, but smaller scale things, tools, etc. Bulk uh, hand tools as needed, and firefighting tools, axes, hooks, poles, etc. Uh, whatever utilities come out of my budget come out of that. Water bill, electric. Uh, cell, six months of cell phone. Uh, again, building upkeep, vehicle upkeep, and maintenance. The well, if you'd like to generate your own form to document those, document those expenses, that's fine. Because it yeah. was a year when Herb gave us for highway a pretty detailed line by line uh, accounting of you know uniforms, you know whatever it was. So um, I think. Um, if it's you can get that for it, we, for us, Pete, and just so we can see. And the increase, uh, not even a thousand dollars. Last year we did seven fifty. Uh, no, I mean in terms of calls, there were more calls last year. Um, right now we're on a higher pace for calls, even though last year it's leveled off a little bit. Um, Snowfall seems to keep brush fires down, since we found. But during the windstorm a few weeks back, we did 13 calls in a six hour period. So there's some trade off on and that. And how do, um, in relation to that, how do your expenses go up in what areas? Like say for- If, if the station's active, the electric, the electric bill goes up, more calls leads to more wear and tear on the vehicles and the possibility of tool, tool breakage or, or uh, wear and tear on just those. Even things like you know, flashlight batteries and pager batteries, not pager, mm -hmm. portable batteries so much, the more usage, the more they're recharged, the more that you have to eat. Right, but those tend to last a But, but a nothing substantially though. Period. No, because that, when you look, that's just general looking back, maintenance. 890 between 930, 890 is the smaller items. Um, the diff I've always equated the eight, difference between line 890 and line 930 was if a light bulb goes out on a light bar on a fire truck. That's the bar light on the front of the truck. The light bulb goes comes goes out. We take that out of fire expense. But if we have to replace the entire light bar, that comes out of asset repair and replacement. So it's it's, it's a question of scope and scale. The smaller items that we can. Yeah, you get two budgets. You get two. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a there, there's a large maintenance maintenance account under nine thirty. But yeah, the more calls we have, um, even just the wear and tear things, the more calls we do. Simple things like laundry detergent, truck soap, truck brushes, more calls and more things those get used. Six months for cell phone. Mm -hmm. There are 12 months in a year. Yeah. Why, uh, why the, six the months? The cell phone account is split between fire and EMS. So it builds about... Got it. You've got six months of your yeah. own. Yeah. Beautiful. It's, it's like 89 okay. bucks a month on okay. average. And just, just one. I paid it for six months. She paid the second six months. Great. Um, it Glad just you get along. She's <laughs> 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 a man. It's just thirty-three. I mean, from FY sixteen, it went up seven hundred and fifty dollars. Now you, you're saying calls. Mm -hmm. um, I, w I would just. Whenever we get things like this, I just would like supporting well, documentation, yeah. just so I, I can go back and look and say, okay, he said this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to write everything down and then maybe I write it down wrong and, you know, then there's a problem. Yeah. So it's always good to have, okay, last year we had this many calls, this year we've had this many calls. You can't predict how many calls you're going to have. So, but it would just be good if there's a trend, you know, that way we can see a trend, mm -hmm. which is good because that's $33,000, that's a lot of money. For, for what the average person thinks of as expenses. You go ahead and tell um, a local town person when they look at that, well, they need batteries, so they need soap, and it's the utility. They're gonna look at you like you're, you're crazy. So for us to st stand here and give our seal of approval on it, we have to know what we're talking about. We have to be able to support that. That's all. On a statewide study last year, 
Uh, that's written in somebody. I know there's 351 cities and towns, but there's like 360 fire departments. In terms of spending, Brookfield was 220, 221st in terms of spending. Well, we're so only 3,500 people, so I'd kind of expect that. I'm just saying, that in my mind, this is my logic, and if, if you can figure out why that's wrong, well, then let me know. Well, it's population. Huh? It's probably based on well, I'm, I'm, it could be. I'm just and saying the size of the department. there are factors. There, there are all kinds of factors. Um, to come up with those numbers. That come up with that, that enter into that. So, and I and I would expect we'd be down low because we're we're a small town. Um, I think that was based on per capita. So, per capita meaning how much income people have. No, based on per person, per population. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, population. Right. So that okay. that takes away the whole difference between Brookfield Boston thing. It's it's based it's a division based on the number of people in the town. So. Okay, so they, they're saying that towns spend X amount of money per person in any city or town, no matter where they live. Yeah. Okay. Okay, anybody else have any more questions than 890? All right, let's go to 920. All right, what's in what's in uh, entailed on 920? Fire research, recurring recertification yeah, testing. More research. items will be tested. What do you what items are being tested? Uh, that right now covers both if a firefighter takes a uh, certification exam through the state. That covers that. That covers the inspection stickers on all the vehicles and of the fleet. The vast majority of them are DOT inspections, which is 105, 130, $130 each on those. The smaller vehicles, luckily, are still only the 35. Uh, the three pumps need to be inspected every year. That's That gets wrapped up with the preventive maintenance, but that's about $800 a year for the three of those. The ladders have to be inspected every year. The hydraulic rescue tools have to be inspected and, and tested every year. They say ladders? I think I say yes. ladders. We started testing hose a couple years ago, which was quite an eye-opener in in some cases quite a hose opener last year we started testing the nozzles and the hope is that in fiscal 18 we're going to start testing the suction hose as well so the vast majority of that gets spent within the first three months of the fiscal year if you if you look at a spreadsheet through the accountant's office most because the inspection stickers are all up in july we try to we do all the testing early in the year so that if anything does need to be replaced, repaired, dealt with, it's early enough in the fiscal year that we can cover it without worrying about it at the end. Uh, one chief friend of mine, his inspection stickers roll up one year and they had always been up in June. And the problem was he had a very busy summer that year. So he got the trucks inspected. A, he didn't have enough money to get the inspection stickers done. And then B, he didn't have enough money to fix the problems. So that's why I really liked it. We took a couple of years to get everything aligned. So they're all in, uh, a couple of minor exceptions are all done. And the stickers are all done in July. So if we do find anything, and same thing with hose. If, if the first year we tested hose, we end up throwing away, I don't know, a thousand feet yeah. of hose. So. So we were able to cover that, and luckily the hose levels off. We still fail a couple pieces a year. We haven't, we failed one ladder last year. That was easy. And nozzles we had to replace in one nozzle, and and when we when we replace most of those items, it comes out at 9:30. But last year one nozzle failed. We replaced that nozzle. That was a thousand dollars. So by getting the testing out of the way early, we can recover from whatever quote unquote damage that the testing reveals. So. And I'd much rather know that a hose, a ladder, a hydraulic rescue tool, or a nozzle is going to fail on a beautiful sunny day in July in the middle of the parking lot rather than two in the morning in February. Of course. Of, of this, uh, this item, this line item, mm -hmm. eleven five, eleven thousand, whatever it is, um, <clears throat> is half of it certifications and, no, and testing well, for well just no, bear, bear, bear with my question um, certifications aren't too much certification exams are uh, generally about huh? uh, $30 an exam 
and we do maybe a few of those years. So that's that's the minor mild end of it. On those years that we have to do CPR, that covers CPR. Per, like so that. in other words, uh, of this budget, the majority of it is cer certifying a person, correct? Oh no, the vast no. majority of it is equipment. equipment. Probably, okay. probably less than a thousand dollars a year goes towards personnel Got certification. It. Okay. okay. If, if a firefighter goes through a training program and it goes for the exam, there's a series of exams. So, you know, we'll okay. cover those. I have one yep. lieutenant sign up for an exam. Coming up, that was thirty dollars. Yeah. Fine, that's a minor okay. aspect of it. So. Equipment, yeah, equipment certification. Yeah, the vast majority of this. And hardware. it's an annual thing. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> What's left in that account right now, Peter? Do you know offhand? Uh, recurring certification about twelve hundred. Okay. Twelve hundred. Mm-hmm. All right, nine thirty. Is that where the what's what's is that coats and boots on 930? No, uh, 930 is that for trucks? That would be the larger equipment. Trucks, that's any equipment that's the preventive maintenance on all the vehicles every year. That's any again, anything that we fail under 920, we take care of under 930. That's the preventive maintenance every year, a larger vehicle work. Um, Do you have anything they, currently scheduled? <coughs> that needs to be done? Uh, there's one project that the vendor is working on in Engine 1, um, working on a hose bed cover to protect the hose and keep it from coming off the truck when we don't want it to. But there's nothing else really pending. We try to go into the fisc uh, go into the brush season, if that ever happens this year, um, with a decent amount in that account because the brush season is what has, takes the most wear and tear. Oh, okay. Uh, testing's got 11.40 in it, my bad. Uh, so that was that one. $1,140? $1,140 in testing right now. Close enough. No, 11.40.64. Asset repair right now has got 472 And in just for example, that in in the first two months of the fiscal year, the, that line went from 13,000, and after we took care of some repairs, some replacement, et cetera, in the first two months, it went from 13,000 down to 5,400 because it just addressed the preventive maintenance and then things we found, you know, anywhere from a $1,000 nozzle to, four, uh, to hose that failed. And that was just regular hose. That wasn't any of the deluxe hose I've heard about. Um, Valves, things like that. Where does the coats and boots and all that stuff come out of? Yeah, it comes out of the town that comes out of an article. I'm still doing the assessment on what we're going to be needing for that. We do have a couple people front people that will need it. Can you, uh. can you pass this down to him? Oh, that was um, that's a portion of what you submitted um, in the past when we okay. asked for some kind of you know documentation as to what you've been what you need to replace mm -hmm. um, but I think what we're looking what we've been looking for is is a history you know FY 16 we replaced this many FY well, 17 uh, that's what I'm personally well we're trying but I, we'll get especially on the air tanks well, well it, it, it's all expensive. Oh, no, no, I'm just yeah. sorry, on the coats too, because you yeah. said you had there's to change coats, it. There's boots, there's gloves. You said you had to update helmets. so many a year. Right. The, the air packs last 15 years, or the air bottles rather. Air bottles, the air yeah. The air bottles do. Uh, we've got three to re replace in fiscal 18, um, one in October, two in December. You get a printout for yep. us? Okay. And after that, well, just hold on this for a second. We're actually in good shape after that because we've been replacing them. The last well, we've had to replace years. them, yeah. so that's kind of worked out. So the handy thing is, after those three in 10 and 12 of 17, the next ones aren't until 8 of 19. So we get a couple of years after that. Um, pass that down, Mrs. Peacock, if you want. Um, again, there's. There's two firefighters currently on the roster that their gear is not compliant. Actually, there's four. Four people on the current roster, and then we actually have feelers out. We have two people that expressed interest in joining the department. Um, at their entry level, they could get by with stuff, quote unquote, off the rack right now. But if they 
if or when they decide to go for state training, they either have to buy them new gear or depending on where we really see them in their career, we'd rent them gear, which we've done in the past. Um, the, the one year that we rented gear for the three participants in the recruit training class, it was a question of timing because gear can take up to six months to come in, whereas rental you can have it in a couple of days. And then what worked out really well was the th uh, of the three people that completed the training with rental gear and then we got them new gear. One of them unfortunately had to move out of town, but the other two were still active. So the, part of the benefit of renting is if the person doesn't work out, you haven't, another neighboring chief of mine, friend of mine, bought a set of gear for one firefighter who was very, very small and that firefighter didn't last six months. Now he's stuck with a set of gear that doesn't really work. So sometimes renting does work, but just that depends on when they're, where they are in their career. If they've been on the department for a couple of years and you really see that they're gonna stay, then buying them the gear to go through training works out. If they're right through the door and they wanna go through training, you're still not sure, well, is this gonna work? Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. a judgment. So again, we got three bottles to take care of this year. Um, Theoretically, six full sets of gear at about $3,000 a set. So after a, a full assessment on that, we'll have, a, when, the, uh, when they call for articles, we'll be doing another article on that. Um, who's your vendor for your equipment? Uh, for the clothing, and it's a company out of, oh, they're out of Milford now. Uh, out of Milford called Firematic. Uh, for a lot of the other stuff, the air packs, air bottles, that's a vendor of fire tech and safety out of Springfield. Uh, the regional offices in Springfield. Their main office is in up in the north, something, Tewksburg or some such thing. Wall someplace. Some four ninety five place. How many how many co co how many uh, sets of uniforms you keep on your rack? The stuff that we have on the rack isn't isn't serv serviceable for full firefighting. It's well beyond the ten year age. We just hold on to it. For some people that, again, join and they just want to see if they're going to make, so we're not making a major right. investment. Which is out in the pack and left them. They can put it on for They us. can if they, you know, if they come aboard and they're still trying to decide if they're going to, if they, there's something they want to stick with and gives us a time. We don't get people measured as soon as they turn in their paperwork. Right, right. Um, That's the oh, the stuff in the rack, we've got stuff going that, you know, was has been taken out of service um, several years ago. But you just hold on to it just in case uh, you get a fire with that, somebody's gear might be severely damaged. You kind of play law of averages like, okay, well, I'm gonna put you in some of this hand-me-down stuff till we get you stuff, some stuff in there. Uh, that fire the other night in Charlton, who we responded to in the tanker at a welding shop, uh, town of Charlton had to throw away because of petroleum products. Somebody told me like five or six full sets of gear just because of contamination. That's covered by insurance, but that you get, but for a couple of days, those firefighters didn't have any gear, which is not always they may or they were in the similar situation as us. They had just old stuff in the cellar in the or in a closet. They said, okay, well this will do for now, and but the stuff that's on mm -hmm. better than nothing. Right, exactly. Yeah, you, know, you can you can set something up. You can move stuff around. So that's the reason. I mean, the the closet where the stuff's kept is basically a museum product, uh, piece for some vendors, but it, we just hold on to it. And any of that we whittle down as we get new stuff and other stuff comes in to be surplus, then we'll talk to you. Now this list that you get, is this this isn't is this just the air bottles? That's just air bottles, yeah. Just air bottles, yep. okay. The yep. last three actually coincidentally because it's done numerically by the number we assigned to the bottle. The last three worked out that they're the three that'll be expiring at the end of this calendar year. Mm-hmm. But that, is that the printout you wanted, Marie? You wanted well, this is air. One, it, this is air bottles. It would be good. Well, to we have asked. That's what we were asking that's for. Yeah. We asking for it would be yeah. good to have a similar thing, just in general, for equipment. You know, well, even we, if it had, no, there's no expirations. Well, I'm not going to say that because I don't know if it's here. But um, expirations. I don't know on coats. On, ten years. Ten years. Ten years on ten coats. Anything, anything firefighter, the, the protective ens ensemble from boots to helmet has a ten year lifespan. So coats, boots. Coats. I mean, and it can even be sooner depending on what the happens level to them. Damage. If you get right. thermal, thermal damage to it, you know, especially which is really easy to pick up on, stuff gets burned. It should be taken out immediately or repaired. But the, the, the drop dead date for a protective ensemble is ten years. 
And okay, so, and that no. includes coats, boots, what, pants? Helmet, hood, coat, pants, boots. <clears throat> and gloves, maybe? And gloves, yes. Yeah, helmet, yeah, um, pants. But just because it cooks to 10 years doesn't mean you get rid of it, do you? I mean, no, that's the stuff we keep in spares, assuming that it's worthy of keeping it. Right. Okay. But even that, and that stuff is not issued to, again, that's issued to entry level people with no experience that we just, both we and they want to make sure this is something they want to do. Putting up, we bought a set of gear back in so, October, a full set of gear was $2,300. Hmm. Well, that's, that's just the clothing. That didn't count the hood, the helmet, the gloves, but that was coat and pants was $2,300. Somebody just walking in off the street that wants to run the fire, I'm not going to invest $2,300 so in it, not knowing. So we'll try to start them out on the older stuff and then based on their level of interest and, and participation, we'll, we'll work towards a proper ensemble. So what if you need backup, like you just said in Charlton, what, are you going to get it off the rack and you have backups? We, we, if it came to it, our stuff was so contaminated. Anything in Charlton, town of Charlton, Char they filed an insurance claim against the property owner. Their stuff's being replaced rather quickly through a vendor. We would take the stuff off the rack, out of the closet, get people set up so Something. that they can at least go to the next call. Okay. So it's rare, but when it does, it just it's the end kind of works out because you reset the clock on those sets of gear and somebody else paid for it. But it's that couple day window where you don't have anything. You're really busting your fingers. This this request you're going to make, you're going to, it will be an article this, right? yeah, on the board. Yeah, we'll an article. Do you have a guesstimate what you're going to That's what you want to do? Again, we're looking at six sets. Of, I've got enough yeah. right okay. now to cover the bottles that well, I need to, because yeah. that money carries over. It's six sets at 2300 got it. and we'll reassess and make okay. one or two pieces in storage that can, and, and again, you're talking everybody from you know, this tall to yeah, this yeah, tall, yeah. so off the rack is not really the, no, it's that, no, it's we do what we can on it, and, and the new guy, you know, you, you, he gets what fits. You, you're going to get that number. Yeah. When, when you have to rent equipment, yeah. people walk through the door, it, what, what, what lines? Are that would come out of expense. Got it, yeah. got it. Yep. And that's been a few years since we yep. had to do okay. that, so. Interesting. Yep. And in some cases, most cases, not so. Yeah. We've only done it once, but in, in a lot of cases, that's more cost effective, because you just don't know what, how they're going to yep. last. So. Yep, yep, I know that. Do a lot of hiring. <clears throat> I hope so. Um, I'm, I, you know, I'm just sort of looking at the future going, okay, repair, replacement, that sort of, any, any, any biggies coming up over the next couple of years? Not that we know, but we just don't know for sure. I mean, yeah, well, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, we have two trucks know, that are yeah. built in the 80s and, yeah. uh, and because of that, you know, they're more prone to, uh, there was a hydraulic piston on one engine that went mm -hmm. and they didn't make it anymore. Right. That truck was from the late eighties. So our vendor had to manufacture something to do that. So as that goes, it's just, you know, yep. you, you take it, you know, there's no, what's the name of that catalog? <clears throat> Is that one car catalog that has all the, you know, but I mean, if you, if you want a muffler for a Carmen Ghia, you can get that. Whereas fire truck manufacturers, they're out of business. Okay. There's nobody out there selling, you know, old Grumman fire truck parts. So when it goes, you're having that, to manufacture. That, that's how you handle that. Is, yeah. Is is that, as needed. Yes. Oh yeah. Got it. I mean, if we can forecast something, so be it. But usually it's okay. just reactionary. Very well. Yeah. Is there a used uh, parts market that exists on for things like that? On some things, the piston. The piston was a cab lift piston on engine mm -hmm. one, and just because of the specialty nature of it. The vendor couldn't find it, so he um, he could redo some with the current piston, something with the brackets, and then he had to redo mounts on the truck, just mill and machine them himself to make it work. Hmm. Uh, there's a lot of that. Yeah, you know, something we replaced. They fuel. did a lot with the fuel. Yeah, yeah. We uh, <laughs> we replaced a fuel tank on engine three a few years ago. Luckily, Ford hadn't changed the fuel tank's design on. LA thousands in years, so that was a stock item. But that would have been another crapshoot. That if that fuel tank, if the fuel tank on engine one went, that would have to be hand manufactured because that is not out there. And who does that? The guy in Spencer. Uh, the fuel tank actually we replaced in house. Um, but I mean, because you could get it. But oh what? yeah, yeah. If it was something larger like that, yeah, we we'd go through uh, fire truck authority in Spencer. Okay. But the fuel tank. <coughs> 
the uh, I think we did the fuel tank and the the hood now. What'd you do in com a few years ago? You replaced the fuel tank on engine three. What was the other thing we did? Was it the hood mount? Yes, it was. Yeah, it was a hood mount. That was something we were able to manufacture and make work in house. Right. The fuel tank we, we obviously had to buy, but luckily again, Ford had to change your fuel tank design and thirty years. Yes. So. All right, so you're going to get back to us, uh, recap this. You want to get back to us on, on expense, uh, and a line, just expenses on line 890. That's quite much what we want. Yeah. And pay structures and scheduling. And we're getting back to you. We're looking into minimum rate wages if yeah. towns are required to pay this. I think it's a great question. Mm -hmm. I got that yep. down, Steve. Yeah. Okay, got it. Beautiful. See if what I told was was fact or not fact. Yeah, we'll find that out. Like from the person I got it from. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you're gonna do so the uh, coats and gloves. That's gonna be on an article. That'll be an article. Okay. And we're still waiting for guidance because I understand the circuit is working on a safety equipment policy. So we just gotta see where that lands if that affects anything that we're doing. So. Now, presently. Okay. Um. For regular uniforms, um, do firefighters pay for their own uniform, or you pay for them? The Any kind of dress. Town you know. does. The, the, we, the the formal firefighters are, get issued through the department um, a, a, whole, a few items, minimal. Um, we buy everybody a couple T-shirts once a year. Sometimes that works out. Other people they get ruined, you know, after a year worth of work. Um, the formal shirts, both white for very formal events and navy blue for things like Apple Country Fair, open houses, education events, things like that, that we pay for. But the uniform jackets, the double breasted class A uniform jacket and a hat, those are paid for by the association. Pants. Oh, and pants as needed. But those those are done by the association. What association? Pardon? What's the name of the association? Brookfield Fire Battalion. Okay. Probably one of the original friends of things. Battalion uh, just what sounded. What about um, shoes? Are they required? Um, uh, we well, co naturally they have dress shoes. They have them. dress shoes. We neither groups ever covered those. Um, most people got a decent pair of black yeah. shoes. Steel toe boots or anything? Not as yet. Um, that's where we're waiting for some guidance. We do what we can with with the firefighters when they for their brush ensemble for boots if if it's an option it, or if they just don't have the means to buy proper boots. But depending on any forthcoming policy from the board, we may end up buying appropriate boots for everybody. Okay. Well, does the fire department currently require employees to wear them for brush calls and? You know, what is your safety policy we, as to what's required for them? Some people still wear rubber rubber steel shank boots. Um, steel shank's more important than steel toe. Um, anybody that operates a saw more may, operate, may use a steel toe more. But uh, the brush boots right now, work boots, things of those nature, we have yet to cover completely. There may be an odd case here or there, again, based on need, but we haven't. So you tell them then that they have to have their own. They they get what boots that they're 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 comfortable with. Okay, so the there's no policy for safety like for them to cover. Well, they they're not going to walk it. You know, it's made clear what boots are and aren't acceptable. Okay. You know, if they come in with a nice pair of LL Bean Appalachians, well, no, <laughs> or even we're not going to allow them to wear sneakers. Right. Okay, so there yes. is some guidance. Yeah, there's, oh, there's, yeah. there's some guidance still, yeah. yeah. Okay. But we're just, again, we're looking to see what the board hands down in terms of what they may be looking for if they cite specific um, statutes or requirements. Well, I'm, I'm going to guess, though, that, that you guys are going to know, because it's your position, what's needed. As opposed to somebody sitting down and go, well, let's look at what we oh, think no, they should we'll, have. You we'll guys, give them guidance on, you know, if they say, well, I've got a pair of, you know, old Wolverines at home. Okay, yeah, bring those up and work like that. Um, people have got some military surplus boots that works out. So, but you know. Well, I mean, even as guidance for the 
whoever's determining what the safety guidelines may oh, be yeah. in the future. I would expect, yes. I would hope that you would give them guidance oh, yeah. for what you think, oh, what, to the board. You, what you currently expect. Oh, for, oh, you mean guidance to the board from us? Yes, yeah. because uh, they don't work in your department. You know, they don't know safety yeah. issues. I just know so. the draft has been worked out, and I don't know if that draft is just going to include, you know, use use standards and you know knowledge with best practices within your own discipline or if they're going to be specific to NFPA or OSHA or whoever. So yeah. I, I, I'm guessing there, has to be, there, there should be a give and take on it so that's why yeah. I, I think I think they're working on a first draft for distribution mm -hmm. and then we can look over on that so yeah last I last I had heard it was it was more to be what you all um, think is necessary, you know, within your job description, okay. as opposed to getting into the whole OSHA or mm -hmm. ANSI or, yeah. you know, whatever. No, it makes sense that people doing the job should know more about the, the safety needs of their department than just some person driving down the road. Right. Okay. All right, anyone else have any other questions? Steve, Bob, Marie. So the old, I know articles haven't been set yet. They said town meeting today. Yeah, that'll, today. That'll, be a, that'll be a fun day. Um, Saturday, right? Yeah. What, what is it? June 10th. June 10th. 9 Saturday. 30, 9.30 in the morning. What is it? No way. 9 o'clock in the town morning. Town meeting. Sure 9.30 in the morning. Yep. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. What is it, June 10th? June 10th. 9.30 in the morning. What is it? Annual town meeting. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. yeah no, That's going to be a fun lunch break. <laughs> But, uh, Did no, they set a time though? 9.30. Oh, I was just joking. No, no. no 9.30. I didn't hear the time. Yep. In the morning? Yeah. No, I can't be. Nine, oh time meeting, 9.30 on a yeah. Saturday morning. That's, that's, oh my. The, that's the understanding we're left with. I don't. And who, uh, do you have any, who chose that time? Three selectmen. I was here. I didn't hear the Three time though. Karen, does that sound right? June Annual 10th. Annual town meeting on a Saturday? June 10th, yes. Saturday. In the morning? 9.30 in the morning? I'm not sure if it was 9.30 or 10.30. That's re that well, I'm gonna have to that's ridiculous. Gonna have to what? Let's let's choose the day when I think all, have when all the parents are street. gonna be off at sports with their we children. Have a little chat with those three. I'm not sure that was the best thing. Oh, I was just joking. I was no. Well they run the towns. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> well, you, I wasn't wishing, well, I was just joking. No, but well we were looking for more participation yeah. by town members. Not at nine thirty in the morning. Well not when they were all off at sports with their kids, you're not gonna get I mean at night would be okay, you know. But not nine thirty. My understanding is they set the date and time. I don't think they've set the time frame for articles yet. But the only articles I really see forthcoming would be for protective clothing. Uh, and how many air tanks? Three? Well we can cover the three out of what we got left here. Okay. Uh, we can take a year off from air tanks, but it would be to cover the, the gaps in the protective clothing. The people we've currently got that need new stuff and people we expect to put on. And the only other one would be for uh, app, uh, vehicle replacement because we're not doing anything about that and at some point it's going to be bad. Vehicle replacement? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We need to do something. We have a 1983 fire truck. We got to do something about. We got an '89. We got to do something about. You know. We we'll just got some old ones too. Mm -hmm. I think they got some from the '70s, late '70s. I think mm -hmm. they got one. No, but no, no. It's it's close. No, it's uh, some of them in the '80s. Possibly the know. '80s, but those would be reserved pieces. Yeah. Nobody's supposed to keep anything over 20 years, and I got stuff we could put antique plates on. What's the two? Okay. Well. Okay. If I go to a Anyone else have any questions it. here? So you're gonna you're gonna look into get we get back to us on that. Okay. And then we'll uh, check on those other two things. Go to the personnel board. We'll find out what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Donna, you're up. Okay. Hi, Donna. I've got two articles. Do you does everybody have a budget? Everybody got a copy there? Okay. All right, go ahead, Donnie, you have the floor. Uh, well, we're doing level funding as for the request of the... Yes, at this time, yes. So that would be the same. 
Uh, emergency squad expenses, I, I went through the numbers again today since we've got a nine month period behind us. And I think we can, I can drop that to 40,000 because uh, we have most of the building, where they replaced all the bricks on one side. All they have left is to do the bricks in the front. So 40,000. Forty thousand should be okay. It's the facade. I call it the facade. Yeah. Oh. So forty-two. Oh, so forty-two thousand is going to forty. Yeah. That you did that. That 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 was done. There's a concern not so much about the front facade of the building or the parapet wall as the lentil over the garage door. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Remember when that building was built in the '30s? That part of the building was the post office. It wasn't until. Uh, the 1970s that they pull out that front wall and put in a garage door and I'm guessing that was done in house yeah, yeah. so you know the quality was pretty well but again we're talking 40 years and that that steel lentil there's some seepage behind the brickwork on that so we, we need a better assessment on it but so it's not so much a facade of the parapet it's it's the garage door frame the header of the garage door so but in brickwork vernacular that's a little lentil yeah always a Jewish thing then if it's catastrophic, I can... It's not lentil, it's The yentl. policy is I can always go back to the selectmen and request money to be transferred out of our account if you need it, but I think it's, it's safe going to 40000 unless it's really bad. We have, what's, what do you have in the ambulance uh, savings bank account, whatever you want to call it? Savings left? That's not we that. buy a lot of our stuff at the end of the year. No, it's not about revenue. Oh, revenue? This is our figure. I don't. We haven't had a chance to reconcile with the new account yet. That's my that was going to be my next question. Okay. Excuse me. What was your question, Dave? They have a fund when they get paid for ambulance calls. They have they put money into a fund, yep. and it funds a new ambulance and and whatever else Donna may need to take out of it. Yeah. Insurance usually pays most of it. And we, right. we bill for transports, and when that money comes in and goes into a separate account, which is established by a certain chapter of Mass General Law, yep. and that goes in, and then the figures in front of you aren't so much a budget as part as part of the budget spreadsheet as it goes to the tax rate. There are articles to fund it for the ensuing fiscal year, so that comes out. And then the flip side is whatever isn't spent out of that goes back into that account. So it it, it hopes that the goal and hope is that it will perpetuate for a while. Mm -hmm. um, our figures right now have us at about four hundred seventy-seven thousand. The ambulance is four hundred seventy-seven thousand. Okay. Yep. Um, again, as of July, if her figures go forth, then in July. We take out 220 of that, and a new ambulance. You're looking mm -hmm. at 275 was West Brookfield's last. Oh, but that, that was years ago. Yeah, so yeah. it might be you're, around. You're looking, well, actually, by the time we do it, there's certain requirements. The next ambulance will probably be about 300 dollars. Uh, 300,000. Yeah, nice, 300,000 dollars. So that's why we're hoping just. You know, so we're not too far off the map right now. When you get, I mean, when, what's the um, expectancy on this ambulance? Well, our ambulance is nine years old now. Is it that old already? Yeah. Yes. Um, we're gonna. We just had a lot of major, major work done on it. Like they're putting a new rear end and new tires and stuff. So we're hoping to get a few more years out of it. Yeah. But the trade-off too is it's nine years old, but it's at coming up on eighty-nine thousand miles, of ambulance miles. Yeah. And that's different than your average, you know, you go, you go going down the road, so. And that's diesel? That's a diesel, yep. Yeah. Well, doesn't that, uh, they get along, they, they last long. diesel. Even so, mm. yeah. It's usually, it's a tough vehicle. It is. That one seems. Rides like a truck, though, but. Oh, that's really we can get some truck. little cushions. Right. I put cushions in my truck. So, so what else do you <laughs> take out of this account now? You don't take any wages out of here, do you? No. But wages is separate from expenses. But it all comes out of that account? Or? But what I'm trying to just get it to decipher what comes out of that 477. Oh, you oh, said minus 220. Yeah, what's what's in that 220 line? The 220 will be the fiscal, the two items you're discussing right now, fiscal 18's budget, as of July 1, that will come out of that. Okay. So as of July 1, I make a ledger and deduct uh, 
214, roughly two hundred fifteen thousand dollars right off the bat. Okay. Um, so it's going to go down well, to two twelve. Yeah. Two twelve eight ninety three. Yeah. Rob, she said two twenty roughly with some other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. It, it, at stroke of midnight, we go from you know if that stroke of midnight was tonight, we go from four seventy seven to two fifty five. And so, we as of right now, we can afford a new ambulance and one more year of operation. But every year it's a sliding scale, and depending mm -hmm. on insurance you know, reimbursements and state of national health care, and even the state of local hospitals. Yeah, the subjects to change without the notice. Part of a trouble that we might be getting into is that uh, with the new health care the federal government wants to put forward, they don't want to pay for any ambulance calls. Who's going to pay for them? Well, the person nobody. that's in the nobody. back of the box. Yeah. They usually don't, though. They know that. In a lot of cases, yeah. And we don't want them to not call the ambulance if they really need us just because of its monetary value. So how many out of 10 calls, how, many, how much money, how many calls do you not get paid from the insurance company right now? Currently, we do pretty good, yeah. but are well, we about 90, 87, <clears throat> we're about 90 percent reimbursement rates for a billing company. That's and, pretty good. Yeah. Not not the full amount that we charge, but we take that into account. That yeah, but that doesn't partial. count. You know, right as of today, we're at what did I say 54? 54 calls this month. About 20 of them were not billable. If That's we, what I'm asking. Yeah, if we get sent to a car accident and there's nobody hurt, we don't bill that person. If we help somebody falls in their home, we help them up, we don't bill for that. You know, so you said 20 were not billable? Thereabouts, yeah. I don't have the logbook in front of me, but... Okay. That's a little high, but this whole month has been a little high. A lot of slip and fall with the ice and... Yeah. If somebody just needs to be checked out, they're not sure. I mean, we don't kidnap patients, take them to the hospital, but we also don't want... We don't bill for those types of services because we don't want people to say, I just really want to get checked out. I want to know whether or not I should go. And if they're like, well, I'm going to get a, if I get a bill for $50, well, I'm not going to call. Well, it doesn't really help anybody's situation the next morning. They wake up dead. Another thing take to take into account with this account is we get um, $32,000 from North Brookfield for providing ALS to them every other week. How's that working? You do get $32,000. Yeah, works out. Have we re signed another contract? Within the last few months, I think they month. usually do it when the next when the next t their next town meeting comes up. They have to right. renew their contract. Right. What is ALS? Advanced life support, paramedical. Yeah. Paramedic sales. level. I mean, there's a trade off that does that money comes in, but when we're on duty, we're covering advanced life support not only for Brookfield but also for East Brookfield and North Brookfield. So call volume does go up. Sometimes it, the length of the call goes up because a lot of those calls require transport to the two larger city hospitals. Some of your uh, materials we're using more, especially medications, which anybody yeah. can tell you are not cheap. Narcan so, and EpiPens have yeah. gone skyrocketed. Well, yeah. yeah. Although they had skyrocketed and there was some, I, there was yeah, something, um, yeah, there was a manufacturer or something out there that was able to get them to people for 300, where they had gone up to like seven. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, they went a generic or something like yeah, that, too. Yeah. We're small That's, that is the generic one. Right, whatever. And Narcan put her own overdoses. This isn't rampant around here, but it's enough. But you have that on board? Yes. How much is that a can? Uh, per dosage? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. 32? I think 30? it was 40. Okay. In the 30s for it doses. It used to be like $5 each. Yeah, it used to be like that. Supply and demand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately. And, and, and you haven't used much of that, you're saying? Uh, the last... Oh, you don't want to say the last study that <laughs> I saw from Central Massachusetts, um, over a three-year period back in 2012, 13, and 14, we had, in the town of Brooklyn, we had four fatal heroin overdoses over a three-year period. Now, and that's reported by the police, we, in terms of heroin's, heroin overdoses that we can treat properly and get back, um, we haven't done any of this year. I think we did three or four last year. And some of those require multiple doses, but that's, that's just cost of doing the business. The trouble is yeah. medications expire, so you have to keep replacing yeah. them too if you don't And I swear it. the window on that stuff is getting smaller. The manufacturers realize, well, if I only make it good for six months, they have to buy more. Whereas it used to be good for a year. <sighs> 
but we don't have any choice in it. If, it says, if they say it expires on that day, it expires on that day. We don't have any. Even though it's good still. It may be, and you, if you talk to hospital administrators, a lot of them they'll keep stuff because. But we don't have that For luxury. Emergency purposes. Anyway. Right, but we don't have that luxury. If if the state inspector right. finds it, it <coughs> not a, not a pleasant. Experience. It's a risk management problem for you too. Yeah. How many EMTs do we have in this town right now? Uh, We've got like eight active ones and... For the breakdown is six paramedics, one intermediate, and five basics. And the, and the other ones over the eight, they just take maybe a shift once every two weeks or... But there's a core, like I said, there's a core of about eight people that... Run and what's the next there. step up? What's above an EMT? Yeah, uh, EMT is the... Base. What's a paramedic? Is that higher? That's well, from the yeah. bottom up, no, without any implied deference. Basic EMT is basic first aid, CPR, splinting, bandaging, right. oxygen delivery. They can deliver an EpiPen. pen. They can deliver an Arcan. The intermediate now can put in a breathing tube. They can start an IV. They can do some medications. The paramedic can do. All the medications approved by the state, cardiac monitor in addition to the IV and the intubation and a, uh, breathing tube as needed. How many paramedics do we have in town? Six. How many EMTs then? Uh, I believe five. And only one intermediate. One intermediate. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. How many EMTs? Five? I believe five. Yeah. I thought you said eight. Yeah. To, to his, okay. He was sort of generalizing to his total yeah. available eight, sort of staff eight mix okay. that do oh, okay. that do okay. most of the calls yeah. yeah yeah you've got a core group of eight out of that 12 but the other four will come out as needed if worst case or you know, we really need them to take a shift or cover a period of time yeah since we went up to the 50 dollars for a 12-hour shift there have been more people willing to sign on right we did that last year right now. yeah with because of the because of the money from north brookfield so how, does, how that. does that work now again you get uh, fifty dollars for a shift on the week on call on call. Yep. Okay. Weekdays it's twelve hour shifts, and on the weekends they're eight hour shifts. So there's three each day on the eight hour shifts, and holidays uh, they're eight hour shifts. And then when you go on an ambulance call, you get paid uh, while you're actually in the ambulance. And how how, how does that work? Um, Basics make uh, 1559 an hour, intermediates 1926, and a medic would get 2266 per hour. What was the intermediate one? 1926. And, and that's all here, and it's paid yes, back and all the way. Got that's it. That's full time and part time. <clears throat> and yep. You got a you got a printout of the uh, squad wages, Donna, like you did for us the other last time. No, since I it's all about funding. Can I'm, you give me that? Just what who's what and what they're doing and how many hours they're doing. Which one? You have a printout. That's that's what she just said. The ship the ship breakdown and the oh. uh, and the hours based on rate. Give me a, a breakdown on your expenses too. Not not tonight, but if you, you have that. Just a general breakdown. You know what I mean? They, they would never be able to read my scribbling. Can't be worse than mine. Uh, do you want me to just read it off? Well, this is based, today she took she took the ledger and did a breakdown based on the last nine. Months. You got a copy of it? It'd be easier for us. I don't want to go through the whole thing now. Is that? I don't think I understand my scribbling. Let me take a look. Yeah. No problem. We'll take it. So, so, so she can get that back. Just for I, I, yeah. yeah that so, that. yeah. So, how often do we go into North? Contract. Every other week you're on that contract with North? Yes. How does that work? Like, if let's say you're in North Brookfield with our ambulance, and let's say we get a call at Wagon Wheel. What happens then? They would tone out for a second EMT and our ambulance would return and the paramedic would stay with the ALS 
What do you mean AL? Stay with them. advanced life support unit. If they, needed, if they needed advanced life support, right? The paramedic could stay with them. Our ambulance can return to town, and they'd tone out for another uh, EMT to go with them for our. So the, the ALS next call. unit would leave there. The person. The person. Right. The person and, and the ALS right. equipment. Okay, okay. We'll stay in North with that What's, person. Yeah. And yes. You tone out to get an ambulance to go where? Back then you'd tone out for an to EMT well. to add to the driver. Right. Because you got to have two going out. But then you right. don't have ALS equipment if it's needed there. No, you right. wouldn't. How's how's that work? Is that putting uh, the town residents at risk a little bit? I. Hasn't don't a, think we've had a conflict. It hasn't been an issue in all the years we've been providing ALS. I mean, I know we're getting money, but that, that goes to I know, surprise. but we, right. did it for, we did it for free for many, for many years, so this really helps us out. I mean, we would, we would provide ALS for, we provide ALS for West Brookfield, too. Sometimes Sturbridge, Brimfields, and you always play that game. That it's not a game. It's, it's, a cal it's a calculated risk that has never really been an issue up to this point, and as was stated earlier, there is mutual aid. But the so number. What other, what but other local town has ALS as well? East Spencer. East Brookfield, East Brookfield Spencer, Sturbridge, Brimfield, Ware. And how many people in each? How many people do we have in our town that does that? Are they able to do that? Yeah. I don't understand what you mean. How many? How many paramedics? How many paramedics? Yeah. Oh, six. Okay. And they can they're qualified to do the ALS. That's yes. what I'm asking. Yes, six. I'm trying to understand that. Evidently. Plus the intermediate. Yeah, I didn't figure out what he can do. So that's seven. Yeah, he can't do it all. He can't do everything. He can't do the cardiac interventions and the monitor, but the intermediate can do it, get a lot of tons. That's six squared out across what, fifty shifts, you said? That's that's kinda of thin, isn't it? Nope. No. For a paramedic for me? No. You need to keep your skills up too. Yeah. I mean, it's always beneficial to have more patience, so you be able. You won't be a stale in your training. Well, they, what kind of training do they have to? Is, there must um, some jobs require ongoing yearly. Yeah, the state requ has requirements. Like how many hours? Can you recertify every two years? Can you recertify every two years? Yeah. Ready to run. Not yet. I'm working on it. Okay, I certify every two years. The chair could be let go. So, I'm just looking at this. New cardiac monitor will need annual testing. Yeah. Is, is that a... <laughs> It's a requirement from the state to have uh, cardiac monitors tested. They want to sell us a $1,317 contract, so it can be fixed at any time for free. I think with a new monitor, there's not really anything that can go wrong, so we just have, uh, we can, we've made arrangements to have a yearly check to make everything sure everything's right, and that's like $355. Mm -hmm. Uh, so right. say 17 great um and that's all once again that would be it's all expense. here and yes. it's yeah. paid for here and yes. all that yep. neato are you still using those life packs oh no 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 that's the life pack brand model is still out there but we went with a different manufacturer this time this is all is local to Massachusetts. I'm so sorry. Zoll is our Zoll monitor is local to Massachusetts. So if we need repairs, if we need a piece of equipment, we can take a ride half an hour down the road and and get it. While well, physio control, it's it's you have to so got to box it up and ship so it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to it's box so it. Really? That's, that's one of the main reasons. That's it's only half the size of the physio. With yeah, all when you're schlepping all that stuff with yeah. you, hey, well, wait. A great product, but yeah. They, they, they don't control the market share like they used to. You guys changing your radios over like the highway department? I mean, like the police department is going to be no. going? Mm -hmm. You got to be you're going to be on the same frequency. Yes, we're on the same. But why they? What's the deal with why they change it? Do you know? I mean, I have no idea. But you're going to be on the same frequency as who? As the fire department? I mean, the uh, police. Police, yeah. No, never. They have our radio. They have, yeah, they have their. 
they have our frequent they have police okay the police can monitor highway and uh, fire right. ambulance and the cruisers okay um, but they don't routinely have it on them themselves right right okay you could um, to get a portable radio that does both it is five thousand dollars don't really see that as being an option that's what they're going to be doing over there i don't know what yeah doing. yeah all right anybody have any questions on the uh breakdown but you have no problem with uh, transmitting ekgs and all this other stuff we don't <laughs> transmit it uh -huh. um no we just read them ourselves and we yeah. broadcast it over there okay it was really expensive to have and be able to transmit it was several thousand dollars so and we so rarely use it that it wasn't worth it maybe in the future if it's used more often but it is you can transmit it if you buy all the software for it oh on your expenses here you have a notation of Sturbridge for 250 dollars that's because they provided ALS to uh, an amb to Brookfield Ambulance. Brookfield was going to Har Harrington, and they, uh, they decided in route that the patient needed ALS, so they had Sturbridge meet him. Sorry. So then our, our ALS was someplace else at the time, or? It was a basic crew that was on. Oh, okay, that's it was a basic Okay, crew because of the crew. Yeah, okay. and I think the circumstances were, if they, if the patient's condition had warranted it early enough, we would have been able to, but I think things deteriorated while they were on their way to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And regardless whether it's internally or going to another town, we don't, help doesn't chase you. No. You know, you'd much rather, yeah. okay, you're there, we're gonna, okay. we're gonna meet you at, you know, yep. you know, the whole, old Mr. Allen meat shop or whatever, rather mm -hmm. than like, well, stop at the end of the hospital, we'll be there in a minute. No, no, no. No, no. no exactly. we wanna put and growth behind us. Vice versa, we charge, them as well. Them, yeah. if if no, we if we get on their line, truck. Yeah. Yep. So, <clears throat> on this, yes. Um, this forty-one-five is so. So no, is everything circled? It like what adds up to oh, that, was, that number? That was forty-one five hundred was what I, I started with. Got it. And, and nine months is what you're saying is what you've you right. accrued, so we to speak. Spent, we've spent, we spent that much. The, these, I'm assuming, I'm just, what adds right. up to what here? And that, then I that's, added. That's what we've already spent. Got it. One five was our starting point. Got it. For nine else. months. And then I did a quarter of that to just do an average. Yeah. Beautiful. Just to extrapolate okay. nine months in one yep. year. You started on very low time. Right. So you spent <laughs> about 50% of your budget in nine months. Is what it looks like, roughly. I, I think roughly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the only change we're going to make down on this is line two thirty six, and you're going to go to forty. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys, all get that later. And that changes yeah. the bottom number. Yes. Two twelve. Yeah. What do you got, Bob? Two twelve eight ninety three. Two twelve what? Eight nine three. Eight nine three. Yeah. yeah you're just taking. You're just backing off two thousand dollars. Donna, will you guys get your, you get your fuel down at the diesel down at the highway, right? Mm -hmm. Municipal fuel, okay. All right, anybody else have any questions on anything? You sure? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you both for coming in. You got yours. Thank you. Pete, when do you think you're gonna get your- um, Herb. When you, you're gonna see the person on board, you want me to go Herb. see him? Get it. I don't know what I know. You want to copy this? I'll talk to Cindy and see if it's on their horizon. Okay. All right. Then just let huh? me know, please. Just this. Okay, cool. Right, I'll make it. Yeah. Do you think you guys didn't get any copies of these, did you? What? Wait. Oh, yeah, I didn't get any I think this. No. Do you I want? Don't. Did you want these back? Air bottle no. thing? No. Did you guys all have copies of these? Does anybody want a copy of the air bottles? Yeah. I, I don't need them. This is the expert. We should. Bobby, I'll give you one. I'm um, right I think Perfect. we should like Fascinated leave a is. fire. I make yeah. copy. Like file. Oh, so yeah, that we'll when you get to the we we, 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 we don't have them. And you can refer back to them. 
there's, there's another one sitting right yeah. in that yeah. stack. Five, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll put it with the budget. Yeah. And we have it. Yes. Yeah. Can I have a, that top piece right there? The we had this. The equipment? Yeah. yeah. You guys get I gave you all a copy of the snow and ice to break down. Did you see that? You can look at it. It just tells you it just gives you a breakdown. If you need to know what companies for what, but you know, each company has for sand, one will be for salt. If you need to know what it is, I can tell you. Did anybody are you saying you hand you, you handed one? something out about the snow and ice? Help? Yes. Okay. Right. Well, oh yes. No more. Okay. We'll see. Just you can look at it and go over it and then for another night, but I mean, I just wanted to get it to you. What are you asking me? No, I'll just in case Bill wants one. Uh, what is what is this though? What, who, like Jay Walker and these are just we, 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 expenses, we, we, right? That came out yes, of a yes, snow yes. and ice budget. Yeah. Is that yeah. all we're talking about? Okay. personnel board discussed the assessors we had questions on we didn't want to handle that so we put down that increase for the assessor at 24 are we at where are we on our agenda we are on the 8a 8a recap yes so it went up to 24 well we, we, we you, yeah you were here when we put that in yeah right. and then the personnel board said fine it did say fine yes okay that's I got to work today okay so uh, everything we did on that budget is going to stay that way now. I, we figured that in at that, at that rate. Yep. So. Uh, yes, we're talking assessor, right? Yeah, yeah I get coffee to see it. if anybody needs one. Nope. Well, you want to look at it. So let's just double check it for the total. Bob, you got one? No. Take one so you know. I just want to double check, make sure we're, we're, we're good with the figures. We've got a lot of assessor budgets here, so. <laughs> I got a total of 61,483. See if that jives with you guys. After our different changes. With the 24 dollars an hour? Yeah, I think that's what we figured in. Then we went to get uh, approval from the uh, personnel board, so it wasn't all on us. 61,483. That's what I got before, yeah. Line 345 should be 41,184. Yep. Does that sound right? 31,484. 41,184. 41,184. 41,184. What's that line number? 345. We put that, we put that line in. Okay. What was that? What's the line definition? That is for, that's for the... Wages. That's for him. What, what are we calling him now? We keep saying... Assistant, it's, it's, they're calling him assistant. He's not assistant though. But they're calling him... It's, it's, it's a debate between assistant assessor and principal assessor. We're still trying Why to Why don't we just out. call him principal assessor? All right. What are you good? Yes. I'm gonna write that in. So when Carrie writes this, uh, is that, that's what we're gonna put in the warrant book. Principal assessor, is that good? Or you wanna put something different? No, I mean, that's the job he's doing. Okay, yeah, so what, 
Because when she changes these these warrants, she's going to change a lot of these lines and put new headings on it. Okay. I think you better do your math because I think the 41184 was at 22 dollars an hour. Correct. Was that 23? That is correct. And then we went to 24. Yeah, so okay. Some more math. 43056. Okay. I believe that's the right number. What do you got, Steve? 43056. I got 44928. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot my cell phone. I can't do my calculator. <laughs> so it's all on you guys. I'm not the, I'm not the uh, accountant for this, so. 36 hours a week at $24 an hour times 52 weeks, right? 36 hours. All right, 24 times what? Is it 52? Yeah. $24 an hour, 36, 36 hours a week hours. <coughs> times 52 weeks. Times 52. 44,928. That's what I got. What's that again, Robert? 44,928. So that 61 is going to get changed. Yep. Yeah, I get like a zillion different assessors here. So I'm going to change the total. I came up with 56803 for the wages? No, for the whole thing, for the whole package. <clears throat> that makes sense? Hang on. 1500 plus 44928 and I come on I'm coming up with 56803. I'm not. <clears throat> what are you coming up with? 56803. That's what I'm coming, right? Yeah. Five six eight oh three. Okay, um, I'm adding. What do you got, Steve? I'm adding a clerk in. Line number three four Did six. Did we put the clerk in? Last is time we. Is, is that the eighty eighty four twenty four? Hang Yeah, that's that's. Well, hold on a second. That's the last time we, we never not had the clerk in there. All right, that's fine. All right, sixty five two two seven. Eighty four. What do you get for a clerk? Eighty four twenty four total. Yes, yeah. sir. And that's line 346. Correct. 346. We made that line, right? Yeah. Yes. So the new number I'm coming up with is 65 227. Yep. That's what I get. Oh, that's what's already in there. Right. Okay. 65 227. So, with that new, with that being said, we went up $2,000 with the whole up in there. Right. Huh? Roughly. Just about. <coughs> I mean, before we were paying, what, 16, 17,000 for one assessor, right? Times three. But you got to remember, too, that the, the consulting thing went from 7,000 down to three. Right. So we've generated internal savings. Well, that was it went down because um, we don't have to do a revaluation this year. It was up because we had to do revaluations. Now, isn't Al going to start doing some of that himself? Yes. yes. So then right. it's going to bring that. What was that old consulting fee? It was seven. Well, during a seven. during evaluation year. It was seven. Right? That was evaluation year. Yeah. yeah. Regularly, so it, it would. Now be he's going to be doing it. So so we. Yeah, but leave. I don't know if there's going to be a cut. No, so the normal wage for the um, that other gentleman would be on a regular year three thousand dollars, okay? On a normal year, not including valuation <coughs> years, right? So I well, I can't I, say that because he told me he was going to try to do right, Bob. He is. He's going to make the visits. He's, he's going to. He's actually right. going to go out and visit. Well, but I don't recall hearing any talk. Twenty five hundred, huh? FY sixteen was twenty five hundred. Yeah, I I don't recall any talk about reducing that line though. During our conversations with him, no, he's not going to go below three grand. But um, we're still keeping um, Roy Bishop on. Yeah, but I thought it was only for a thousand dollars. That's that's that right. Yeah. It's only so it came down. So it goes from down to three to one. Yeah. Okay. Because he's now going to do it. I think he said when when now that the clerk is going to be in that office, 
then he can step away and have some have coverage in the office, and meanwhile he can go visit various <coughs> properties, revalidate uh, certain things, <coughs> take pictures of the property, bring that all up to speed. Where Roy was doing that before, or uh, Roy or Roy, his son. Yeah, Roy was doing it on the computer. No, no, his son was making visits. Yeah. Now, now, Periodic, yeah. And now, Al. Okay, so now we got three thousand on that line. So, are you saying, are you saying three thirty should go down to a thousand? Well, that will be FY nineteen, right? We just, we just uh, did it at three thousand. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Eighteen, this. eighteen, we're gonna yeah, go down. We just did it at eight, three thousand. Right, but Bob, are you saying? I'll be honest with you. I don't know where that. I'm not sure. I remember Al saying that to me though. The yeah, but I, be, I don't want to just cut it right this second without re-asking him what that three thousand figure is. We've gone over this. This how many? We've gone over this. I know budget, this. like six times. I know, but a lot well, of well, yeah, it. thousand change. But it's a new. It's a whole new setup. So right. we'll do what we got to do. I so mean, let's just validate. You want to ask 3, him? You want to ask him? Want me to ask him? You ask him. Go All right. But I think we just got to revalidate that number. I just don't want to willy nilly shoot from the hip and and say cut it. Right. Because it might be something in there besides the thousand dollars that. So what are we at now? Fifty six eight zero three. No, no, we are no. sixty five two two seven. Sixty five two two seven. That's We're the five. number that is. That's there. what's on here originally. Okay. So with a whole new setup in there, with good coverage. And the guy that knows what he's doing, I think we're doing okay. Well, that sixty-five includes the three thousand dollar figure. Right. So you got to find but out. If he goes to a thousand, then we'll be real great. But you got to remember that the sixty-five two two seven didn't have. Did that have the clerk included in here? Because it looks like it's all it's added here. Yes. Line it did. three forty-six. Yes, the clerk is yes, included now. Yes. I it, know that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. The yes, it did. It did have it in there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You know where I'm going with that, right? Sure. Where are you going? You just wanted to validate that you got a 65227, yeah. which you said is the same. Yep, yep. And I wanted to find out, which Steve just said, this 8424 was already built in there. He built or right. is the way, or did it now get just added on there? All right, we're fine. All right, we're on the same. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to, no, it's good to double check off. Yeah. Okay. We have to do that. Okay. So I think we're, I think we're yeah, just. That's an easy question to ask. Yeah. Ask him what? About the about three. Just the three. I'm going to ask just him about Just the validate the three. I will ask him that. Okay. So you want to? We can approve this then, minus that. Yeah. No, don't approve you it until wait? you get okay. the figure from him. It's All a right. matter of a simple vote to approve it. So yeah. okay. it's not a big deal, right? Because then, if, it, will cause then if it's wrong, then we have to revote it. And, and then you got to do more more paperwork, more minutes. Which are now turning into hours. <laughs> See, I'm thinking of you, Marie. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we love Beautiful. You. <laughs> Beautiful. So this 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 has been revised on uh, 330 to 017. No, Beautiful. today's the 29th, I think. No, today is the 30th. Yeah, tomorrow's 31. Yeah. That's it. Tomorrow's the last day. Okay. Then you got April Fools. <laughs> Okay, do you what's still let's get some of these minutes done before Which is we Saturday. Uh, before yeah. we adjourn here. Yes, please. So um, you have other minutes. You have you should one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I eight. pass them out or you, did you I not? Had get time? I gave it to you last week. Did I have time to make them? I've sent them by okay. email. All right. So Okay. Did so you get your January? Email? We get only some. Two. Right. Well, that was the, the most recent. Okay. But in previous emails, I sent you the others. Um, yeah, that, that, either way, you don't have to. When did you? When did you combine? <coughs> Correct. Yeah, I, I did. N none of them affected. So you want right, you'd right, be recused right, from them right, anyway. Right. I thought maybe I could send them to you. Um. If, I don't know if you missed the email or if no, I, I. I got the. I got the um, most recent ones. The most recent. Ones. Okay. Any questions about it? Okay, it's just, um, well, and I gave you yours. Yeah. You read well, them. I gave you. And you read them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I gave him the ones that you did for him. Okay. But the ones that he's already got, we haven't got. Right. 
Do they have them? I haven't printed them off yet. No, he got them in his pile from last week. Yeah, he didn't do it. I didn't print them because we said didn't we had that long meeting. Hmm. So you want to approve these two? We've got five minutes, boss. Yeah. Uh, we're going to approve uh, January 5th and de December 12th, and then next, the first thing out of the gate, we'll hit those other ones when we so we'll get caught up. All right. That's on you. Yeah, it is. So yeah. You've got them. They're in your possession. Everything's on me. Yeah. That's okay. I like it. So, and... Uh, so I'm reading these. My, I'm reading this right now. Still waiting to I'm um, still waiting to find out what they're gonna do about cutting grass. So from highway you mean? Yeah, because we so we can get that uh, underway. And then we're gonna we're gonna put in a special line item for how much we're gonna approve for the safety stuff, how much we want to recommend. That's well, right. Well, no, <clears throat> anything over five thousand dollars. I'm gonna uh, has to working, go. Like, right. Did we ever get an answer no, on? No, I'm giving. I'm working with Cindy on, on that. The, yeah. uh, on the assignment. What do you call that thing? The ACD or something? That that. It was a form. The form. I they work. have to go. Through, it's in the. They have to give give it back. Me for the uh, explosion proof cabinet and the Any, well, It's for per, yeah, but the gasoline for, cans specifically for purchases over five thousand yeah. okay. dollars okay. need approval. No matter what it is, right? Yeah. <clears throat> So you're still waiting on that. Yeah, because we want to get that get that wrapped up. Uh, and then we can find out what the seasonal work is if we know what's going to go on with the grass cutting, if they're going to do it or not. And I found out the Lewis Field, they said they said 40 hours to get it done. I thought the guy used to cut it for years and years. He said 10 to 12 hours. So we figured that in too. And then weed whacking, he said, depending on how bad it was, was another three to four hours. You know I mean? So you said what was how much for doing this field? Ten, ten, 10 hours, 12 hours. 10 hours, so if you went with 12 just in case yeah. you had a really <laughs> booming season yeah. of grass growing. Um, 10 to 12 hours and then weed whacking. Weed whacking, he did, I don't know, he said he, it, it took him a couple hours, three hours, depending on what he did and where he went. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes it goes so, up behind the pipe area. And, you know. so you're Plus talking, he was doing the traps too. So you're talking about 15 hours. Max. Yeah. That's only one. Huh? That's only one year. When the grass is growing fast, once July comes. Oh yeah, once in July, then he can back it off. So yeah. Twice a year, twice a month, whatever. They're just, <coughs> they're just banging it up as hard as they can. Right. Um, let's try it. So, Herb, you still, Herb, do you find out if you're doing grass or not? I didn't see you there that you left. You doing grass? I haven't talked to anybody. You haven't talked to the selectman yet? Why am I talking to the selectman? Well, to find out if you're doing grass, you, well, you didn't want it, or they didn't want you to do it, or somebody didn't want to do it. So my question, you don't know if you're cutting grass or not. I mean, Most are you going to the highway <clears throat> now is going to get stuck with all the grass mowing, yes. Okay, that's what I wanted to know, okay. Well, it said, Herbie said <clears throat> at the meeting that he was going to do it till June 30th, that's right? Yeah, but I'm asking them for the whole well, year. Next year. Yeah. yeah. Well, this coming July, right. Yeah. Most likely the highway department is going to get stuck with it. Okay. All right. And people better get their facts squared away, that's all. Well, that's what I'm trying to do right yeah. now. That's why I'm asking you direct. You mean, are you, are you <clears throat> as far as facts, you mean as far as the length of time it takes? Oh, yeah. How do you not, how do you dispute? A, 40 a, hours. a person who has done it for a number of years. I'm not getting into it. Okay. <clears throat> Talk to Jeff about it. Jeff. Nadine, that's in charge okay. of the whole thing. He's okay. chairman of the rec. Yeah. I was talking and to He'll him. explain things to you if you want. Okay. Or he may not want. It. Well, we need to figure, find out. You know, well, you're getting to, two yeah. conflicting <clears throat> stories. You kind of need to figure out why. The numbers are why different. Don't you, why don't you guys come up uh, first part of uh, May or whatever, and you guys can mow the lawns and figure out how long it takes in weed whack. Because we have. I guess John Washburn did it yeah. for ten years, and he told me ten to twelve hours. 
<clears throat> okay, so you guys want to make a motion on January 5th minutes and December 12th. Make a motion to approve both? Yes. So we want to, you, who wants to second it? <clears throat> and Steve, you want to abstain because you were not here? Right, I, I abstain. I am, yes. Let yeah. the minutes reflect that. So okay. all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. December 12th, 016, and January 5th, 017. Mm -hmm. You want me to sign those for me? Um, <clears throat> you can sign them all together when you do all the other ones. All right, so I'm going to keep these two separate together. Okay. Yeah. Right. You've got the other copies though. In the, yeah, in the, yeah, yeah, they're in the cabinet. Okay. <clears throat> now, did you well, I'm gonna make a motion else. to go past 9 o'clock? Just for a couple of minutes. So don't make a motion to go past 9. Hey, you got it. You got it. Don't, don't say Second. it with such enthusiasm. <laughs> I've been, I've been I've been training in Framingham all oh, day okay. today. All in favor. I'm, right I'm, I'm working on a breeze right now. Good. All in favor. You and me both. Why do you think I went and got coffee? Uh, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Who seconded? it? Steve. Okay. Yep. All right. There's something else. Why don't you know I was in assessor training today <clears throat> here, with the Department of Revenue. Oh. All right. Um, Steve, you want to make There's something else I wanted to tell you or something. I can't remember what it was now. So, is, is Herb still here? He might be. Herb's here. Is he yes. hiding around the corner? There he is. What's okay. your question? Now, um, Bob gave you just yeah. some things that went online. I remember when we met, I had mentioned about a local um, vendor mm -hmm. who did equipment. I don't know what equipment costs, so that's why I went online to look up, to just get a rough idea of what things cost. Well, most of these probably don't fall under the codes and stuff. Um, well, <coughs> I believe I saw a lot of ANSI designations for yeah. safety. So as far as that goes, I mean, I can actually go back and check one, you know, page by page and um, see that. But the other thing about this vendor is, uh, well, they, they, okay, I had asked the fire department the same thing. Um, at this time, as a condition of employment under highway, what kind of equipment, uh, what clothing, boots, whatever, do you require your employees to have? Basic stuff to work at a highway department. Well, I'm looking for a little more specific. Do you you guys have high vis jackets, right? Yeah, we, we have vests. Yes. Okay. Well, have we one. have a jacket as well. We have some jackets. Yes. Okay. So, do you require the um, employee to buy them, or do you furnish them? Town furnishes them. Town furnishes. Because well, in the past you've said um, <coughs> uniforms were you know supplied and paid for by the town, but I wasn't sure if it was just pants and shirts or how far it went. Um, well, my understanding that may change too because uh, I understood that the town of Warren that uh, whatever over there and they had to change all their uniforms because they didn't fall under uh, certain uh, rules and regulations of uh, safety. I don't know who that was true, but I was told that from somebody over in Warren. Okay, well, because they didn't meet specifications doesn't mean that we don't. We may. I'm We're nowhere near it. Okay. What, and we don't know where those specifications came from? No, I Those do requirements? Not. Okay, so we kind of need to know that. Uh, that would be a good thing to know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, two specifications. They didn't get alerted or something. Did they buy OSHA or something like that? I'm not sure. I'm just speculating that somebody made a phone call and somebody come in. Yeah. That's okay. all I can speculate. Okay. I haven't had facts or anything on it. I'm just using what I'm just trying to fill what criteria they're, they're using as a benchmark. <clears throat> I try to try to use what we need to use according to the road yeah. safety and everything else. You know, type two, type three, yeah, yeah. best and all that. That's what I take and try to fall on. You know, they say you should be wearing lime green all the time. Well, lime green during the summertime doesn't work with the green foliage. I've had people stop and say, you can't see you on the road with a green vest. So we've changed over to orange during the summertime and green during the winter time or vice versa. It all depends <coughs> what the weather's like. Um, you said according to road safety guidelines, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of vague out there. 
Oh, so yeah. there's no like website you can go to no. to look I, up? I kind of follow a lot of stuff under uh, Bay State Roads. A lot of stuff is, you know, we go through Bay State Roads for you know, a lot of information and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and so, okay, so for a lot of information, so you always, you look at Bay State Roads, so do you implement everything Bay State Road says or just particular things? We don't have to follow it. You yeah. don't have to? No, there's no ruling that we have to follow certain things. Okay. Because um, I think what, init what initiated this discussion about safety equipment was town employees helping out with tree cutting. Yep. And there was concern about them not having proper whatever for tree cutting. So that I'm just letting you know what the genesis of the conversation was. Mm -hmm. It came from that because people were worried about not having hard hats or if the person operating the saw didn't have chaps. You know, the chainsaws are loud, so do they have proper ear coverage and that kind of thing? So, do you have those things? We have some of the stuff, yes. For you do have the stuff, that, okay. <clears throat> Right. So what else you, you you need? They need vest, glasses, shoes. Do you, who who does the boots? Uh, the employees are paying for shoes right now, but as soon as they take them, the selectmen decide what they're going to do with it, and they make it mandatory on certain things, the town has <coughs> to pay for it. Okay. Okay. So what we what we are Could thinking that be a potential article for you guys. What's that? Could that be a potential article for you guys? It could be. Yeah. Well, or it could what, be a, a working budget item. Okay. You know, well, like, we're Bill, do like Bill said here a week ago or whatever, hot hats got to be replaced every two years. Well, I think the hot hats that we got down there are probably eight years old right now. Mm -hmm. Well, we're thinking of doing here, Herb, on this board, to su suggesting, uh, advising, is we're going to make uh, figure out what it costs for an employee, what dollar amount it will take to gear you up, mm -hmm. and then have a figure there per year for an employee. <clears throat> Rather gonna, than just what are you gonna do when something gets uh, damaged or whatever. Well, well what do you do? It? What do you do now when something gets damaged? We'll, we'll Take it out of the expense account. Yeah, we're trying to get. Well, why am I gonna <clears throat> steal from the expense account when something's mandated from well, a policy that's being set? Well, okay. we're gonna have some kind of we're gonna have some kind of a figure in there. Okay. Well, just to start this, you know, just so you know, you'll have some kind mm -hmm. of instead of just a, a wild figure. Well, that ain't a wild figure that I gave you. No, no, I know, but we're just trying to break it down yeah. and then carry put a separate line in there. Work boots are 200 and something dollars a piece. Well, doesn't it depend on the kind of boot? Because <clears throat> there's lots of stuff. Well, see, that's what we need. That's, that's what, what I mean. I'm talking about like allowances. <clears throat> Most for... guys are not going to go out and buy a $20 pair of boots. I'm not talking 20 her. Right. The figures that are on the papers that I, you looked at yeah. are nowhere near 20. Okay, so I'm not expecting anybody to go buy Walmart generic boots. We're just trying to get an okay. allowance for each employee with because they something could, good. They could it? also spend 300 Right. And, and, it, and it might not be necessary to spend you a three. Do you know what a pair of saw boots cost? That's a saw boot. I'm talking regular, everyday working boots for a department. We're, we're going to get some kind of we're going to get some kind of consensus of what you need. Okay, but I'm just cost. trying to a saw boot. Who's the saw <clears throat> person? I mean, everybody doesn't need to own a pair of saw boots. They all run saws. Well, then it, maybe you need a designated person. He's out sick. Then you don't cut it that day. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but you know it, it's it's. Well, can you can you get can, can the is the saw boots different than your normal work boots? Yes, yeah. Okay, so. But everybody shouldn't need a pair no. of, because you're only going to have one pair of chaps, maybe, because only one person running a saw, right? I got three pairs of chaps down there. Okay. Um, hats and face masks, you know. The, I guess the thing that puzzles me is, I'm hearing... We just got to get a figure, something, right. Right, we need to get a figure, Some but... Some kind of a basis on on what you're going to need and what we well, can have to like the fire, It could be like the fire chief said. He said the outfit one firefighter is like about yeah. $2,200. But right. I'd like to see, like, like yeah, what venue? Yeah, twenty-two to three, uh, three thousand. Right. Yeah. yeah. By so we're trying to, yeah, that's what we're trying to do with the so each it, worker down there. Right. So you I'm could possibly come up with the same model, and then you could also take the address what Herb's coming up with, and then there's a certain amount of right, bu extra budget in there for something that all of a sudden breaks or whatever the heck it is. Right. Yeah, but the the, the, the fire department, that three thousand dollars. That's different. 
Yeah. It was different. And also, that was not an annual thing. So he's saying that right. you know, what he's buying. Every 10. Buy, ten. Every ten. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that no, vest, we go through vests all the time. Yeah, well, vests are away. Vests are $10 yeah, no. each. Vests aren't expensive. So. Okay, those are not $200 boots. Right. Um, Right, I mean, we keep right. We gotta have some kind of a a, a, yeah. a figure. You can't go have getting five, six hundred dollar boots three times a year. Cool. You know what I'm saying. Um, I, I guess what puzzles me is we can't. The only reason this even came up is because people were concerned about town employees maybe cutting trees and if they had the proper equipment to try to protect the town against you know liability of injuries. Okay, mm -hmm. we don't want people to get hurt, so we want to make sure they have the proper equipment. Okay. My thing would be. I would expect that if they're cutting down trees, they would also be looking out for their own welfare by having proper equipment already. I'm not going to go out and cut, do some job somebody wants me to do if I don't have the proper safety equipment because I'm not looking to get hurt. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, I don't know to what percentage of equipment do you already have because I'm guessing you're operating already within some sort of safety guidelines. And is that and is that sufficient? The, these are these are not safety glasses. Okay, <clears throat> but they have safety glasses that go over. I would never wear. Them. I would never wear glasses like that on top of a pair of glasses because your visibility is gone. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, yeah, I'll I'll give you that because I worked in a, a place for a little while that specialized actually in prescription safety glasses. Okay. They do make them. Yeah, yeah. they do because I. Took care of them I've for seen, like a yeah, year. They do. They're, well, not, they're, not, they're not bad for price either. No, um, <clears throat> and that's one reason why I mentioned the vendor that's over in Charlton because that's something that's local. And I already went over to Sam's so. though. Excuse me. I already went over to see him. And Charlton? Charlton. Yep, Steve <clears throat> Kingman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you know yeah, they can very give little stuff that's even. I would talk to him about. I talked to him and bought from him before on Sunday mm -hmm. night. Yep. But all the nasty, the rest of the stuff, I wouldn't buy. And because it's the quality of it's not there. And meeting ASI specifications, ANSI specifications. I mean, the quality of it that's not there that does for the certifications and stuff mm -hmm. that we do need out there. Mm -hmm. And if the person's going to be wearing a hot hat, yep. You don't want a hot hat that's not going to be fitting a person right. No, they have adjustable inserts. You don't want a hot hat that's not fitting a person right. Okay, but even hot, well, the I don't... hot hats that he has over there, I'd probably get them for my granddaughter and that's about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're a different sort than what? There's a hundred different sorts out mm -hmm. there or better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So while being better, I would hope they would last longer. Two. They're only good you for know. two years. Bill Starnes said they're replacing every two years. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. <clears throat> I didn't either. Um, so that's the only thing. I mean, to me, all all this activity has been going on for many years without us even bringing up safety specifications. So I would hope that that's been followed. I don't all think long. anybody's ever been hurt at the highway department. Working that is a worker for the town mm -hmm. that has been hurt cutting trees or brush or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I've whatever. Never heard of one. Well, whatever you guys are doing. I've been in this town all my life and yep. never heard of one. But that doesn't mean it can happen. Anything right. can happen. Right. So but that's why you have people that look out if what's going on. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. All right. Can you get us a list of a basic what you will need and what you think a package will cost per per worker? We'll work on it. Okay. okay. How soon? We'll work on it. But I mean, can you give me? It's going to be a while. I got other things that are going on. <clears throat> I'm talking maybe a couple weeks, three weeks, two yeah, weeks. I'm right. working on it. Well, just so we can finalize your budget. Yeah. All right, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. All right. All right, anything else before the board? Anybody have anything else they want to discuss? When's our next meeting? Thursday? I mean, uh, Monday? Yep. Yeah. Monday, yep. third. We also have it Thursday the sixth. Cool. Yep. So I think we'll get. Uh, hopefully, we got the health board coming in. I'm gonna try to get the police in here. That's as far as we're scheduled. That's as far as we're scheduled. It's through the sixth. All right. You wanna, wanna put? Let's post some more meetings. Before we adjourn. Got a calendar? Can I do so you want Monday the tenth? 
Yeah, we got the treasure. We got the right, yeah, I know. I'm waiting. Well, she's something. She's out now. I don't know when she's coming back. Who? See the treasurer. Oh. Oh, that's what I want to tell you. Uh, the the, the, the uh, dog officer. We're just going to leave that budget the way it is, as far as wages. And and if they need somebody, it's going to come out of the six hundred fifty-three bucks. Whoever the assistant is. The, the assistant will be paid out of that? For now, yeah. Do we know and who the I assistant know, is? They, I ask, I no, I, they, I said they have somebody, but I don't know who it is. Um, just but as long as they have somebody and we have money there, we're okay. <clears throat> I mean, we go forward with this, the, the whole budget. And we did reduce the amount of um, expenses yeah. on our budget. <clears throat> The question, the question was, does the town pay for maternity leave? Or do I'm still, I couldn't get an answer. I'm still waiting to find that out. They, with what they, well, what they told me was, if she's not working, she's not getting paid. So I don't know if that's. Yeah, well, that's what I said. I'm waiting to see. I, I wanted to see the treasurer, but she. I don't know the determination. Right. All right, you want to put down April 10th, Monday, April 10th no, for a meeting. <clears throat> April 10th. And you also well, want to do April 13th, start. Thursday. When's Patriot's Day, just so we don't get that in there? That's like when 14, is that? 15, 16, 17. That's the 17th. Is that a Monday, Steve? Yes, it yeah. is. Okay. Yeah. Make sure we don't put that on. You said 10th and 13th. Yeah, 10 and 13th. 10, okay. 13, 20 is the Thursday, the 20th. Let's do that one too. Put that down too. All right. Wait, what, the, what is it again? Thursday, the 20th. You just gotta let me know. Um, Put health board down for Monday for sure. For the the third. Yes, April third. Yep. Hopefully they'll be ready. <coughs> health department. Yeah. If, if if we know our town meeting is on the tenth of June. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe it's in the morning. Okay. Oh Doesn't God. matter. I'm trying to back <coughs> into. Does to me. <coughs> well, for Go ahead. That, that, not, not what I'm about to say. <coughs> right. Um, <coughs> I'm trying to back into uh, w when when do we need our final everything to send this to a printer? Yeah, we usually do it in the first part of May, end of April. I'm shooting for the. I'm shooting this. Depends when we get the articles done. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So by. Oh wait a minute! They just they just. Um, so Dave, Dave, they made a date we're 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 looking. To be done with our work by April 27th is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And then I think the articles, they think they put a date of May 5th, I think, is the deadline for articles. And then they said by, by the 9th, we should have already voted on them and figured out what we're going to do. And then we go to the printers. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what they said this morning. I think, I think it was the 5th for articles. And then we have time by the ninth that we can do our part. And then we go to the printer, Steve. And okay. I also got I got three quotes of the printers that we have to vote so on yep. Monday. We can vote okay, on. Okay, fine. Yep. <clears throat> that answer your. Yes, it does. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> just just wondering. Bob, did you get those other two quotes? The, the two companies. <clears throat> no, the one not the, 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 the one out of north because I got two other estimates and I want to get. Yeah. Okay, uh, I want to call him to get a third. I got it, but I forgot the okay. name. Okay, just give me the name, I'll call him, and then we'll have the three estimates. Oh, what? No. Yeah, I'm not, right? No. Yeah, that's, uh, hopefully we can use him again. He's very good. Okay, anything else? So we put in Monday through thir Monday, Thursday up until the 27th of April, excluding Patriots Day? Correct. Right, okay. 10, 13, and the 20th. <clears throat> what about 24 and 27, then? Yeah, 24 and 27, correct, yeah. Yeah. You said the 27 is the last one? Yeah, that's that's far enough. Yeah. Well, yeah, it will be until we have to vote on articles. Right. So. There will be others after the 27th, so don't get excited. I want to put in the list because <laughs> I want to bring in the catering I'm for the day. I'm just saying, <laughs> don't get excited. <laughs> there will be more. What are, what are they going to be catering? I don't know yet, but I'll figure oh, out. Mud slides, I hope. Yeah. Okay, can we adjourn? If you want, make the motion. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Anybody? Aye. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thank you, Shannon.